Okay guys, welcome back to another video. We're playing Resident Evil 3. We are on part 5. So I think if you guys remember last time we picked up after dying from this section. We have two hunters in the way. So we're gonna try to tackle this again. I have three flash grenades and I really don't think I want to contend with them. But I did discover something and I want to test it out. See if we can stun them without having to dodge pretty much. So, let's see. Have to go through the motions, get these zombies out of the way. Oops. Okay. Oh wow. Don't die. Okay, so let's just use this, I guess. It's kind of a waste, but just get this over with. Bring the grenades. Open the store for safety. So what I want to do is I'm going to throw the flash grenade out. And before they start flailing around, I'm going to try to punch one. See if I can break its armor. gonna work okay hmm I mean, that didn't go so well especially with the first zombie I think I think we just use the grenades and try to run and get the tape as fast as we can I'm gonna need a guide so I can figure them out. It seems like Carlos' guns are also too weak. Kind of have a feeling that Jill will do much better with the shotgun and the grenade launcher. It certainly felt that way when I was playing. Again. Okay, so they're down. Let's grab these. Throw out another one out. Woof. Okay, I think that will go. Uh, I'm just not sure if they're gonna follow me outside, so we're just gonna make a run for it. Okay, so we know that we have to counter uh, the same way that Jill does her dodging. It's kind of a wasteful thing though. These three flash grenades in such a short time. Not sure I like those odds. Sorry about that. I think it will be a while before we get through this. I'm probably gonna have to make some cuts. Okay. 
Can't really get out of there unscathed. Run. Let's see. We can get out. We can run away. I don't think they're gonna follow me through the doors. So thankfully, we have that. Oh, I hear another one. Or okay, yeah, it's on the other side. Okay, I think that's good. I think we'll just leave them. Unfortunately, Jill's gonna have to deal with these herself. Okay. Seize this. We'll grab some stuff. I'm gonna save this, or let's take. F let's use it. Okay, so there's a lot of them. I think we're gonna throw one out. Oops. Okay, so the dodging doesn't work if I switch weapons, because it takes too long. So, the shove still works. It gives us um, some stagger time. This is good. This is good. I am not mad at this. But I forgot to get the red herb upstairs. So, it's okay. Maybe Jill can have them. Okay, nice. Save these. We have green herb. Okay, I think we're just gonna proceed. Never mind the herbs. Guess we're okay with that. to know was what the documents were doing in your office in the first place. Who do you think you're talking to? I'm goddamn Nathaniel Bard. I'm the best biologist you'll ever meet, you bedpan-changing waste of a nursing degree. Ouch. Choice words there from our resident, Dr. Bard. Bard. And Tyrone. he's dead. Bard's dead. He's been shot. Shit. And the vaccine? I'm looking. Well, look harder. There's gotta be a computer, right? Banquet invitation. Mayor Michael Warren, Brian Irons, and other distinguished members. Not sure I trust this invitation. I feel like some shady business would have happened there so he's sending an email out to the senator I believe not safe and Okay, so as the vaccine, we know that. This is BRC Chief Nathaniel Bard, September 29, 11 p.m. I am acutely aware that my time's running out. And I hope and pray by making this recording and bringing the truth to light that I can restore some small shred of honor to my name. 
All of Raccoon City's suffering began with the release of a biological weapon known as the T-Virus. My employer, the Umbrella Corporation, engineered this virus. And they ordered my team to develop a vaccine, which we did. Now, I keep samples of this vaccine here in my office. The rest of it is stored underground. But those sons of bitches at the board, they want to destroy it. They don't want the world to know what they've done. So they're trying to erase all evidence that the virus ever existed. No, I'm not a fool. I know they don't want me to... Yeah, quite a long cutscene in this one. But it looks like that was a recording from right before he met his demise. God, she knew all along. And she trusted me anyway. That's right. You trust the stars. Fuck! Except Wesker, I guess. Is it here? There we go. And we have the vaccine. Hang tight. T, I got it. Good. I'm headed your way. Be careful. Careful? <laughs> have you seen this town? It'll be a fucking miracle if I get there in one piece. That's true. Okay. Not a big fan of you. I'm just gonna run away. Ooh, okay. That's a good one. Ouch. Wow. Okay. Yeah, it's giving me assisted mode already. I think that happens after three in-game deaths, if I remember correctly. The first three. After that, it's gonna I think it's gonna wait a while. You know, we're choosing standard mode. We're just gonna stick with that. Alright, Joe. Hang tight. But I'm thinking we wanna make it easier for Jill. So plus I remember we need to open one of the safes upstairs. I know there was a locker code somewhere, I just don't know where it is. I got it. I think we want to secure that. If I remember correctly, that will give me a larger clip size. Okay, so the hunters aren't following me into the next room. But I want to know how we're going to get that safe to open. I need to know the code. I forgot what it was. Not sure if it's up here. It's a document somewhere. Okay, we, there is the records room, there's a simple lock, we know that there is um, a hunter in this room, there's one in the hallway, we have a red herb in the linen room, and we have the safe, I'm guessing 
the code is here I might have just missed it so I think I want to run out to the roof evade the hunter get into the safe room do some healing Okay, no, I don't want to leave that alone. Let's keep the vaccine for now. Let's grab extra green herb. Let's just bring this up to the green. Do I want to use the grenades? I think I do. You know there are no zombies. Okay, let's see what we can do about the hunter here. Before anything else. Or not. Okay. I think the hunter in the hallway is the one that followed us from here. So we're kind of safe. Oh, never mind, I killed it. <laughs> Forgot. Doesn't seem to be any more documents here. Oh, I completely forgot where that code was. I think we're gonna run out. Okay, so it's not chasing me. At least not yet. Not sure what that means, but it looks like we can avoid them if not running. There are no more documents in here. We at least know that. None here either. There's only one hunter left. I think the other one is in the waiting room. Okay, it's not following me out. Huh, I'm not sure what I'm gonna do next. Really wanna open that safe. Thinking we should skip it. And I think I'm gonna try to use the code I remember from memory. I know that this only uses two numbers. Okay. There we go. Not really gonna...
Okay, you know what? Just Just get rid of these. Here, let's just okay. This one's not really doing anything, it doesn't look like we missed any documents, so I'm not gonna try to look for them anymore. We can head down here. Is that item? I know that's for Jill. Nothing here. No documents left. documents here either just to be really sure I remember we have one more hunter to deal with who is no longer here where is it? Doesn't seem to be anywhere so anyway we opened it so maybe we'll just tr come back for it some other time and it's not here either That's a bad idea. Okay, I don't think we have enough firepower outside of the grenades to really take on the hunters. They move a little too fast. I'm scared to try to counter them because that seems to be a one hit kill even if I'm in the Thank orange. Hang tight. But that means we have to go back upstairs. Chief, I got it. Be careful. Careful? <laughs> Have you seen this time? So that's one way to address a problem. Let's see if the document could be somewhere on the way back. If it's not there, we'll just go upstairs. We'll grab the upgrade from the lockers. Dumb, I forgot. Change the shortcut. So that was quite an unfortunate incident. Is 
Is it? No, it's just... It's just a brochure. What did we miss? Is it here? Gonna be okay, Joe. No, there are no documents here. Okay, yeah, let's just let's grab the upgrade. Head back. Since I threw out the grenade, we'll have to avoid the hunters somehow. Not sure what we're gonna do, but. We'll figure this out. He's dead. this make sure we're topped up so we want to try to get through this section really quickly And there are no documents here. The nurse's station is over there. I'm really curious what I missed. Try to sneak through this section. We just need to get to the to the nurses station, which should be here. Okay, so we have the upgrade. I don't think I can rest not knowing where the document is. It's just that I don't know where else to look. I don't think I'm seeing anything from here. I don't remember grabbing it from. That board, maybe? But it doesn't look like something I can interact with. Anyway, we have the upgrade, so... Let's just make a run for it. So we're heading back downstairs. We're finally gonna give Jill the vaccine she needs. And we can move on with our lives. If I find that document um, off camera, then I'll let you guys know. So 
anyone who wants to follow the progress can complete it. There we go. Come on. She's already looking better, so that's cool. Sam gives a shit? Fuck. Here they come. Oh, you sit tight. I got this. Better grab some gear. Sounds like there's a lot of them out there. Okay. Do I need some gear? I think we'll just bring two. I'm gonna try to lower the window shutters. The left entry okay, I think this was in the teasers. It looks like we're gonna have a standoff in the lobby. I see generators now, so probably gonna take advantage of those to keep the zombies at bay. Okay, yep. There we go. Okay, now the fun shit begins. Ooh! That was not what I was meaning to do. Got a little startled by the, the zombies exploding. First aid spray.
Hey, uh. Oh, okay. Good pouch. That's nice. Please do not touch the door. I worked hard to block that. Yikes. Okay, this is kind of a good angle, I think. Oh, okay. That was not a very good idea. Good. How much longer do we need to keep this up? <laughs> I think you can hear the frustration. Okay, so the doors are open. zombies off the door. We have a few seconds. I think I'm just gonna use this last flash grenade. Keep that play. Oh good. I think that went relatively well. You going somewhere? You damn right. What do you think you're gonna do? Whole city's about to be microwaved. Come on, man. Call the government. Tell them we found a cure. You stall for time. Ballsy motherfucker. Right, I think it's time to play as Jill again. Jill. Oh. Oh, thank God you're okay. I've got good news. It's over now. 
The city's safe. She's dreaming again. <laughs> you know what? I don't trust the first person perspective anymore. If Jill gets another first person sequence, I'm just gonna assume that she's having a bad dream. Can you imagine? They really just decided to give up on the city like that. I'm just gonna nuke it. Just kind of sad. Okay, so now we're Jill again. We know that we're gonna need the lockpick. Don't know if there are any zombies, but... We have a grenade. Okay, so we have two explosive rounds and one flame round. Nice, new handgun. But I think I'm just gonna keep the upgrades on our existing model. Then, let's mix these. Let's keep that. Yeah, okay. Come on, sunshine. You saved my life. I sure as shit didn't. That was all Carlos. He carried you here and he treated you himself. Crazy bastard. Where is he? He went underground. Bard stockpiled the vaccine, enough to give the city some hope. He thinks he can do this by himself. I'm going after him. Wait, did you see the broadcast? They're gonna blow the city sky high. I'm trying to get a hold of someone, anyone with the clearance to stop it. Leave this mess to him. He's a professional. So am I. <laughs> right. She has a point. I'm not talking you out of this. The storage facility is underground, beneath this hospital. I've lost contact with Carlos. Expect the trouble. Okay, stocking up on handgun bullets. Okay, that looks like that leads to somewhere new. I think we're just gonna wanna backtrack a little bit and get ourselves some cool new items. Now, I don't think I figured out a way to get to the courtyard as Carlos, so I'm thinking Jill is the one who's going to grab that thing. Mag ammo, nice. Could this be the one? Hmm. Let's see what we have here. Uh oh. Okay, that went well. Uh, I don't think these do that much damage. I guess because the hunters are armored. I think if we can keep it just a bit further away from us, the shotgun shells should do the trick. So let's do that. See if we missed anything. Uh, 
and there is nothing. Okay. The other... Okay. Let's, let's head upstairs first. Okay, here another one. Let's run out here. Hmm. Okay, I got. That's how I got more explosive rounds. So let's put, let's put those in. I'm gonna keep this because we don't have the mag ammo yet. I mean, we don't have the the gun that uses the mag ammo yet. I know that this uses a block. Let's grab this. Ooh. Too close for comfort. Nice. Okay, so I think when it comes to the dodging, I might be doing a bit too early for the zombies. But we're in standard mode, so I think we have enough ammo to cover that. So we're just gonna go ahead and shoot them. I know we have a hunter coming up. I think if we can use this hallway... Good. Um, okay, so the sick room is red again. This. I think I can squeeze by. Okay. Oh, okay. I think this is what's gonna get us the the item in the courtyard. But first, looks like we can check out the sick room. Nice, high grade gunpowder. Let's make some shotgun shells. Okay, I remember there was a lock in this room. I don't want to go in here, but I know we have. Jill has the firepower necessary. More mag ammo. So that's good. Right. Let's crawl through here and see what we can find. Stuff, nothing here. There we go. Nice. And my inventory is full. Hmm. Not sure what I want to do. Huh. Interesting. You know what? Should we? Yeah. Guaranteed to give you a headache. 
Yep. Well, I mean, if you keep your head with a gun like that, I suppose. Shame for that one explosive round, but... I think the added firepower is gonna do the trick. Looks like we have... Oh. Okay. It's red. Okay, we're pretty close to the safe rooms. Still want to come back for the... For the mag, but it looks like I'm gonna want to get those. I'm gonna get get the, the explosive powder. That way we can keep the grenade launcher for the next part. It looks like we're gonna want to save Carlos, or rather help him. I think the firepower will be helpful. Now let's keep this. So I think we'll keep this for now as well. Lockpick, I'm not sure if we're still gonna need. I think we'll just keep that. Keep this. Pretty interesting development. Jill had almost nothing at the start of this game and now. Kind of looks like we're. Well, they did say this is a more action-oriented game, so... Checking out the time, I can see that we are hitting 53 minutes, so... I think... If we're gonna head down... I just wanna make sure we don't hit the one hour mark before I... S find the next save point. So I'll Oops. Took a hit there. Okay. Never mind. I didn't open this door yet. So gonna need the lock pick, but before we go down there, we're gonna we're gonna We're gonna grab I'm gonna grab the mag, grab the lock pick, and we're gonna save. So yeah, I think that's it for part number five. Apologies, that was a lot of deaths again. But before I end this video, I also want to give a shout out to my friends, my college friends, our friends from um, Ivan's friends. Well, they're also my friends now too, the 75 group. Um, as well as my my fellow producers at Secret Six, as well as Eugene, he's he's our Sunday movie buddy. Um, just want to give a shout out to them. Not sure if you guys noticed, but uh, we are using a new mic. Um, these guys came up with a surprise for my birthday. It was last Saturday. Um, they sent me over um, something. Not gonna share what it is, but um, enough to help get me this mic. Um, I'll share a link to the mic that I got below just in case you guys are interested. It's very good reviews. It's the HyperX Quadcast. Uh, I'm gonna try to edit this afterwards. Um, the, ed the audio has been very good so far. It's more sensitive, but the voice is more clear, I hope. So I hope you guys like this and I'll see you guys in part 6. Thank you for watching.